So the things that I know about Tough Mudder are... Vat full of ice. Deep water. And I'm going to be covered in mud. I've heard about rope climbs, high walls, electrocutions, which I'm not very excited about. I do know it's going to be really tough. It's called Tough Mudder for a reason. Because 13 miles sounds painful. It's just too far. <laughs> actually quite fit at the moment. Um, I do like to train and work out quite a lot, but I think my strength is, you know, doing weights and stuff. Um, my weakness is running. Sony have assembled a team to attack Tough Mudder, and it's my job as head coach to get them through it. I'm absolutely terrified about taking on a Tough Mudder. And then the thing that I found out after I'd agreed to do this was that it's about 13 miles. <laughs> That's the real kicker for me. My current level of fitness is probably not what it used to be. I've got, I've got a way to go. I think the LifeLog app on the Sony Xperia Z3 is probably going to be the most helpful for me. It's got a sleep function and I notoriously am a bad sleeper, so I'm hoping that's going to help me get enough rest and recovery to kind of do the adequate amount of training. My upper body strength is probably where it needs to be for the Tough Mudder, but I'm a little bit concerned about my endurance, so that's the main thing I'm going to work on over the next couple of weeks. How are you feeling? Feeling a bit nervous, how are you? Yeah, I just felt tired. It's quite <laughs> Already early, feel tired. Right, isn't it? But I haven't done anything. <laughs> no, Went to bed early, still knackered. <laughs> Don't bow well, does it? It's going to be interesting to see how many calories I've earned doing that and everything else. Are you else using your life log? On my life log, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been using that. And it turns out I don't burn many calories <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> I need to up it. Oh dear. Hello guys, welcome to Wild Forest Gym. My name's Dean Newman, I'm an outdoor fitness coach specialising in obstacle racing. Today I'm going to be taking you through a one kilometre obstacle course, which um, you'll come across obstacles which will feature in Tough Mudder. Throughout the day you can use your Sony tech to track your progress, which will be fantastic to see how you got on at the end of the day. Before we start that, I'm going to take you through a basic fitness test, which I'm going to start with you, Rick. Lucky me. Um, <laughs> you. Thanks, Dean. Um, we'll go through press-ups, sit-ups, burpees, um, and a sprint um, shuttle session as well. Let's get on it. Great. Go. <laughs> yeah. This is an amazing facility here. We've got um, obstacles very much the same as what you're going to find in Tough Mudder. Team element is crucial. I don't think you can actually get around without a little pod of people around you. There probably will be obstacles that you won't be able to do on your own. We did a fitness test with Dean, which was agonising. Yeah, the law of levers Ten. says this is hard work for me. Vanessa, I think, beat me on everything. No, beat her in the run by about 0.4 of a second. I did pretty well at the fitness test, I think. Oh, little rest. I hate my life. I was a bit nervous at first, but I think <laughs> the adrenaline got me through it. I had to take a seat afterwards because <laughs> I did feel a bit like I was going to faint. <laughs> exhausting. <laughs> very, very exhausting. Vanessa is actually a really capable runner. I think she's a bit worried about the run, but she needn't be as long as she's able to put a bit of time into building it up. So out at the fort, Joel is probably the only one who's got any real aerobic uh, long distance running experience. He's done many races in the past, but it's been a while, so he's going to really have to work on building it back up again. According to the LifeLog app, I've burned another 500 calories, so those calories are really stacking up. 33 wow. reps, oh my goodness. We're now going to take on a few obstacles <laughs> that you'll come across at Tough Mudder. Let's get started, come on, lovely. I'm too short for this. I am not too short, but I am slightly too scared. I was doing my best sort of Spider-Man impression down there. It's awkward, it's, hard. it's just very difficult for me to be low to the ground because there's a lot of me. I really enjoyed climbing, that was my strong point. I think one of my weak points was I've just realised my grip isn't really that good at all. So that's something I need to work on. <laughs> I think the, the rings was the worst thing. The rings was horrible. Just that's swinging it. like a goon. <laughs> there, you got it, you got it. Go on, keep going. Get the rhythm going. God, I mean, this is absolutely the worst thing I've ever done. My hands feel like they're bleeding, but they're not. According to my life vlog today, I've burned 1,826 calories, uh, which is good news because I've eaten an enormous amount of gummy sweets in between obstacles today. The obstacles were pretty scary to look at, but once you take them on, they were, they were fine. Uh, the monkey bars are probably the biggest challenge at this point, but I've still got a couple of months to train for that. I definitely need to keep running because it's obviously going to be a lot longer than today. I've done more steps today than I've ever done, so something good, isn't it? I am looking forward to getting home and syncing this guy up with my phone and checking how I did on LifeLog because I feel like I must have burnt quite a lot of calories and it will just make my stats look a bit better because at the minute they're 
I mean, they're not perfect. 